Should I grind leak code as a beginner developer to get my first job? And the answer is, it depends. And a lot of people don't realize this because if you go out to social media sites like Reddit, you'll see people on there talking about how they've grinded hundreds of hours of leak code problems in preparation for that first interview. So let's talk about the reality of the field. Now, if you're targeting one of the big tech firms, Microsoft, Google, Meta, those companies are rather famous for putting data structures and algorithms problems into the interviews. And if you're going for one of those companies, then yes, absolutely, you should grind leak code because that's kind of the secret handshake to get into those companies. But on the other side, you have somebody like me, and I've got over 20 years of experience in the field, but I've always focused on developer jobs for businesses that weren't big tech. So we're talking healthcare, we're talking finance, we're talking accounting and insurance. Those companies have different types of problems and different types of people working for them. And those companies typically don't care about leak code. I have never been asked a leak code problem interviewing for one of those types of companies. And I've never seen companies that really ask for that. And the reason is those companies are a little more pragmatic. They understand that their applications are mostly about loading data from some kind of data source, doing some manipulation in business logic, and then storing it back. And when you're working in that type of software, you're not implementing your own data structures and algorithms. And if you need something complicated, there's usually a package or something that you can just go out and grab that will do that work for you. If you're implementing those things yourself, you're probably overcomplicating things and doing something you shouldn't be doing. So, interviewing. Leak code. You want to go to Fang? Do it. Grind it. You want to become a better developer and really understand data structures and algorithms and how those data structures work? Yes, go play with leak code if you enjoy it, but don't feel like you have to do it because it's not something that you really use on the job. And now, of course, we have the rise of AI. And these leak code problems are really easy for the LLMs to solve because there's so many solutions out there for them to pull in as templates. So these leak code problems are going to become more like memorization. They already kind of are. And that's why I don't think they're really good questions. It's something I've always kind of poo-pooed at the big tech companies about that they use these leak code problems. Because number one, like I said, they're not indicative of what you do on the job. Number two, they're memorization and regurgitation. They're not really true thinking and problem solving that you would want to get out of a developer. And three, the LLMs are really good at it, so why would you ever ask somebody to write their own when you could ask the AI just to do it for you? And that day is coming sooner rather than later. I also want to take a step aside beyond leak code and talk about these coding problems in interviews, because I also think that AI is going to mean the death of the take-home test. Because if you're sending somebody a take-home test and you're not watching them write the code and the AI tools keep getting better, you're not going to know if the person actually knows what they're doing or if they just had the AI tool do it for them. So something I expect to see interviewing evolving to is more whiteboard style interviews and more pair programming exercises where you're going to be required to have a conversation and build code with another human being because that's going to be the only way they can really be sure in this AI future. So that kind of wraps up my thoughts about leak code. If you like it, do it. If you're going to big tech, do it. You should always do your research about a company and their interview process because you shouldn't be surprised if you get in there and they ask you a leak code problem. You can go to Glassdoor and LinkedIn and do your own research and you can find out what their interview process is like. And if you can't find it, you can absolutely ask the recruiter. It's perfectly fine to say, hey, I'm coming in for an interview what should I expect? What should I prepare for? Because they'll give you that information if you ask for it. And if leak code problems are on those lists, then by all means grind it. And if they're not, you should be focusing on your portfolio projects and your ability to speak intelligently about coding principles like dependency injection and unit testing and be prepared to talk about your portfolio pieces and justify the decisions you made because that is the stuff that's going to get you hired in a non-leak code interview. Happy coding.